Coach Riley, he's a funny dude. Uh, you know, and he always have energy. Like I always go, like I always walk out to the practice field. I'd be like, "What's up, dog?" He, "What's up, dog?" He always yelling back. You know. Kyle Krabs, Joe of the Draft Network here at Steve Clarkson's QB Retreat in Santa Monica, California. We are joined by USC wide receiver Mario Williams. So, yes, sir. Mario, first and foremost, your first QB retreat. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this experience? It's pretty cool getting these young kids out here with some of you guys playing at the college level. Uh, you know, it's a great experience. Just, you know, just sharing knowledge with the young kids, um, being able to see some kids perform out here and you'd be like wow like this little kid really have an arm you know like i i was throwing with a kid uh i was warming him up earlier at a station and um he was throwing it i was like whoo he pretty good he can, <laughs> he can go play somewhere right now if he wanted to but just seeing kids like developing like be good at the game of football you know it's like everything you know, like, cause like when I get out of uh, college and like NFL or whatever, God takes me, you know. But, um, you know, just where, when I get out of college, I want to start like a business where I can help little kids grow on, on the field and off the field, you know, like, so I can have them come up to the facility, train. We can just talk about life, you know, just talk about like what's going on and have conversations and stuff like that. I just want to, like, be around kids, you know, and just help them. So, so Mar, as you consider your growth, right, you, you mm -hmm. playing Division One college football at the mm -hmm. University of Southern California, right? That's yeah. as big as it gets. Were there events like this or people in your life that brought you along the way that inspires you to want to return that to some of the, uh, the younger generations coming up? Uh, well, you know, out of my family, I was, like, the first one to go to college, you know. So, like, me being the first one to go to college, like, you know, I'll, I'll always bring back the information to my people and let them know, like, my experience on, like, stuff like this. Uh, you know, like, my college experience, like, how gay day, how game day is and just different stuff. It's like, you know, like, I, I always talk to my mom every day. Like, I call her every day and just tell her, like, how everything going, like, not just the football side of of like my college experience you know it's more to just football and and i try to use that like in my day-to-day -day life so so let's let's talk about the decision to come to usc and and what that environment was like to help you make that decision you know mm -hmm. what are some of the things about usc that kind of appeal to you as you take into account I mean, you're talking about a lot more than just the game, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, yeah. they're, they're, you're talking about life. Yeah. So what is it about USC that you feel like has those resources for you to, to really grow as a person in addition to just a football player? Uh, so really just, like, knowing, like, me, I, like, I didn't know anything about SC. You know, I was always, like, an East Coast guy because I'm from Florida. So, like, I wasn't even, like, on the West Coast. Like, the only school I really knew out here was, like, Oregon because that was the school that was popping, you know, the the Mariotas and right. the stuff like that. So just not knowing anything about SC and then, like, having to find out stuff about it, you know, because Coach Riley – the situation happened and he ended up coming to SC and me just talking to him and talking to Caleb it all just made sense you know just to go back and do this thing over man so what's that like I mean you're new to USC but you're also coming with a lot of people from Oklahoma do you feel mm -hmm. like the new man on campus but also like you've been there before what's the vibe like yeah, it, it's some, it's similar, something like that. You know, like I, I mean, I, I know everything on like the field and like stuff like that. But like off the field, like I, I still be asking questions like, hey, where I go for this? Where I go for that? Like, do I need to go over here or over there? So just, just asking questions and talking to my teammates and really like, basically just. I say, like, understanding the school, basically, uh, is, like, a big thing right now for me, just being able to know, like, where everything at without me looking at my 
phone or schedule. So, so let's talk about the part of this that you are more familiar with, with mm-hmm. the game, right? Mm-hmm. You, you have Coach uh, Lincoln mm-hmm. and, and you have Caleb, who you mentioned, who making this transition alongside with you. Well, how much of the chemistry that was built upon the time shared at Oklahoma, like, is showing itself now as you guys are getting ready for this season? And obviously you aren't in camp yet or anything like that, but as you think about the opportunities that this year is going to afford to you, oh, what what of the foundation of that was built at Oklahoma that you know you you guys really feel like you have a lot of confidence in is going to be there for you when the time comes? Uh, you know, just knowing like Caleb as a person and just knowing like how he think helped me like on the field. You know, just knowing hey, like because like even like this spring, like you could tell like Caleb he he grew as a person. And as a young man, you know, and at me as well, just me communicating with Caleb, like after, say, like after, um, like during the game, we was actually having a full blown conversation right before the play. Like, I'm like, hey, no, check this. He like, no, check this. <laughs> and, you know, just being on the same page helped me and him a lot, just knowing like, he, go, he know where I'm supposed to be and I know where I'm supposed to be and I know where he's going to put the ball. So just knowing him and building that chemistry through, like, coming out of high school, going to Oklahoma, building chemistry there and ongoing, you know, just, you know, I'm always willing to work with anybody. But me and Caleb, we always out there getting it in, man, just make sure we stay on top of stuff. So you're a wide receiver, and this just feels like the golden age of football when it comes mm. to throwing it, right, and catching passes. And yes. I'm sure you're pretty dialed in on a lot of the – great receivers you know that have come through and are in the mm-hmm. NFL right now is there any players you enjoy watching and try to emulate some of what they do uh I watch a a lot of uh Devontae Adams I watch a lot of Stefan Diggs um Cole Beasley a lot of people don't, don't really like watch him because they think like I've watched they a little Cole Beasley. Pretty, in my they time. know he's Bill's pretty guy. good. I'm a Bills but, guy, so I watch a little yeah. Diggs and Beasley. Okay, I know about okay, it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Hunter Renfro. Okay. Cooper Cup. Uh, I watch a lot of guys. All the great receivers I watch. So what's what's the common theme with all those guys? You know, like what what is it about their games that really speaks to you, as, as how they approach the running routes and playing the position? Uh, they know where they at on the field. Uh, they don't just go out there doing whatever they want to do you know they they know their limit uh limitations they know that like their backside they got time to do whatever they they need to do to get open you know they just just knowing and being smart and being like a student of the game you know and they all got that in common like they all use their their brain and actually think while they're on the field so mario one question that we're going to ask all all the guys that we get a chance to talk to is you know, Lincoln Riley, your head coach, mm-hmm. NIL. What company should do an NIL deal with Coach Riley that really aligns with who he is? Ah, uh, we might we might wait. We might put uh, Zach on the spot here too. You know, I know he knows Lincoln. I'm trying to think. I'm trying there. to think, man. Because Coach Riley, he's a funny dude. Uh, you know, and he always have energy. Like I always go. Like, I always walk out to the practice field. I'd be like, what's up, dog? He, what's up, dog? He always yelling back, you know. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't even know. Something funny, though. Like, it, it can be, like, a commercial or something, like him doing something funny. Like, I don't know. Sounds like a lot of opportunities there, yeah, right? I mean, whether got, it's, it's, yeah. a, it's an energy drink or – Yeah, uh, some. All right, very good, very good. Uh, well, we appreciate your time here, Mario. Joe Marino, Kyle Krabs, Mario Williams, wide yes, receiver Thank from you. USC right yes, here in, uh, in California. Steve Clarkson's QB Retreat. Thanks for joining us.